Big fella, stay still and come get this night quill. It's slumber time. Come get here with this Glock 9. Night, 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 night. Big fella, stay still and come get this night quill. Night, 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 night. Ain't no way I'm asleep. Where's the stretcher? What's up, bro? So here is the first part of the first video. Now, this is using the new MPC 2.9 where they added a drum synth. Now to access that, you go to your main. Out of everything here, you go to your main. And all your plugins that they added like for the 2.7, 2.8, all the way to the, the 2.9, it's located right here where the plugins are. If you click onto it with your knob, you can access the baseline, drum synth clap, drum synth, synth uh, crash, drum synth hi hat, drum synth kick, and then the drum synth multi. That's what I use because it puts up all the instruments. You click onto that and to see it, you know, to see all these, you have to go back to this up arrow and go to program edit. And then you will see all the drum kits. The thing about this though, since it's a synth, they have each tab specifically for each instrument. Like if I want to access this kick, I will have to go to tab one and then access that. If you click on click on it like three times, you get different options. The distortion, then you get the EQ, and it takes you right back to this where you could change the instrument. But then it changes everything. Um, to make a match with the last one, what I did was I took a look at how kick was the settings. So you see they had uh, 37 hertz on the tone. So if you go back, you put it to 37. And then you get somewhat of the sound. Right. 
but you have to go back because you got to match up the settings. The hold is on 32. Hold is on zero, so you got to move that to 32. See that? Go back here. The delay is on 84. Delay is on 40. Let me bring that to 84. See that? And then you keep doing that. It says sweep on 7%. Sweep over here is on 42, so you gotta bring it down to 7%. You can keep doing that. I mean, I like how it sounds, it's kind of changing it a lot, but I like everything to match. So we go to this section here, and they have a set as a harm is set on 70, harm is set on zero. So now we gotta really bring that up. Now we go right here, click is on 75, click is on 50. All right, now you know, they also go, if you click onto, you see how it says Q and then the orange box? That also means that you can actually use these knobs for each and every one, I'll give an example. So noise is at 9%, noise is at zero. One, two, three. So I should be able to move. I press the wrong knob. Now, oops. Now I'll go back here. Now I gotta change that to hi hat. Let me snare. That's it. Let me see if I can lower that. With the drum sieve, you could literally change the the tones and the parameters of each and every drum. I use the trip tap, which is a preset on here. They have other ones. That one is like the lone end shaker. Electric bug was a tango. That was not right. Then they just keep going because they like they literally have a list and they just keep going and going and mostly it's trap which is good. For the second part of the video, I use a piano, and uh, I'll show you how that went. So I use a relaxing piano, and this was some of the samples I used. I used it I'll, oh, I have a thing for pianos but uh, once I was able to program it onto the pads this is for pretty much what it sounded like And I 
just stopped it from there because I didn't need that much. I, I'm going to chop it up anyway. And so the sequence that I came up with for this particular one was this. And let me just go to... And what I'm doing, these tracks right here, is a new form of layering where you can actually add different things and it will play it simultaneously that you don't have to be dependent on seeing it. If you know the sequence very well, you don't have to have it all matched up in one window. I'm used to I'm used to pretty much how it is anyway, so I get to show you what it is like. That's what I came out with. That was the the pattern was like um, I think it was. actually follow the pattern and I like to use colors so I can extinguish which ones had a certain pattern I just have to remember which one to tap and then if I wanted to be versatile with this we would be like I could have done that um they had so many uh, patterns for this piano. I used them all. I used this one. This one, I think. Oh, was it like? I think it was one of those because there's like three of them, and this is the sequence that I had thought of for the second part of the video. Now, for the third part of the video, let me see if I can access that. Yeah. Now, that one particular was these samples here. I don't know why. I guess I didn't highlight it. Let's see. Um, let's use green. Oh, it might have been. Oh, never mind. I did use the colors. I, I didn't understand why I didn't, but anyway. So, haha, -ha Davis. This sounds funny. Big fella, stay still and come get this night queen. It's slumber time. Come get here with this Glock 9. Night, night, night. night. Real? Ain't no way I'm asleep. Check his gloves for con. Then he grab a pillow. His wife a widow. Where's the stretcher? So I was thinking maybe originally this track was called Night 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 I mean it still follows that pattern on the beat but um then you know then the other part of the you know after I do the Night 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 Big fella stay still and come get this night queen Night Night You can hear yourself. This is what the pattern was for that. Big 
So this is how I came out with it. It's mostly for the comedy aspect, but um, the the thing that I did with that was, like I said, I have these wires right here connected to my phone or my laptop, and I went in and I chopped it up. This is the Davis, the Ha Ha Davis, uh, particular sound, and I just chopped each and every one of them to create the sound that you heard. 